What's going on, guys? And today I wanted to talk about Markel Fultz. I've been, you know, following along and documenting his return to, you know, the NBA since the injury. And it's been interesting because I think he's continuing to show how good he is at attacking the rim and how he really is a guy who is a facilitator, is really, you know, I'm not going to put him at elite, but a very high level attacker of the rim. And, you know, the one thing you can say is, we're still trying to see the jump shot, but I will stick by the thing. Like I correctly predicted, this team with Jamal Mosley are bringing back Markel Fultz, similarly to D'Angelo Russell when he was a part of, you know, the Timberwolves. Jamal Mosley wasn't, but Russell last year on the Timberwolves, when he re returned from injury, he was brought off the bench for like the first month. And I really think this is what we're going to see from Markel. I don't think we'll see him start maybe next year or maybe at the last 10 games of the season or you know last week or so but if we just want to talk about markel how he's done so far i mean tonight he shot 50 percent from the field again this year he has not hit a single three-point shot and the thing is this is a guy who he's right now averaging you know what about 10 points a night and three rebounds a game four assists and a steal every other night and what he's showing you is right now on like 17 minutes a night is a guy who's going to come in, drop a bunch of dimes, okay? Because right now, if you think about it, his numbers, if you double that, like it would be like 34. He'd be averaging, you know, 20 points, eight assists, six rebounds, about a steal a game on 57% from the field. I know the three-point shot isn't hitting, but if we look back to last year, I mean, last year there were stretches where we were like, okay, that three-point shot might be coming around. I know it was at 25%. But he was taking the most attempts at it of his career. So I really think Markel with Cole Anthony, Jalen Suggs, and RJ Hampton, I really like those four guys as the the backcourt right there as going into the future. And with Jonathan Isaacs coming in and Chumo Kiki looking like looking so good. Okay, Chuma's is so underrated. And then you also have Franz Wagner right there, who's also awesome. And you think about that, and you also can argue that like Mo Wagner at times kind of plays the wing like in a Lowry Markinen style. So they have four guys right there. We're not going to talk about Terrence Ross and Gary Harris yet because those guys are going to be gone in the future. Then if they might not keep Mo Bamba, but they have Wendell Carter Jr. right there. So, I mean, I like that. So there's like a lot of talent right there on this roster. And I feel like a few draft picks away from, you know, stunning a lot of people, in my opinion. Maybe that's just me. Okay. I, I think like this is a team that's a lot better. And I think, like, look, I really do think this is a great team. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think of Markel Fultz? Are you guys following me with this, or is this just me? But let's say, that's it. Pippi's out.